Hello friends. Today I'm going to be trying out some Pinterest hacks. I love Pinterest and I use it all the time looking for new ideas, hacks, or inspiration, all kinds of stuff. So I thought it would be fun to make a video where I try out some of these hacks that I've seen on Pinterest and maybe you've seen them too. But I'm going to test out some of these hacks, especially ones that I've seen and I've never tried them before. But I'm going to test them out and see if they actually work. And maybe then you can try them out at home and see if they work for you too. Now I'm not confident that all of these hacks will work, but I think at least some of them will work. And that's why we're trying them out, to see if they will work. Well, I'm really excited to try out these hacks, so let's go ahead and get started. The first hack we're going to be trying is taking like a little hair coil that's all stretched out and disfigured and putting it in some hot water to make it shrink back to its normal size like it's brand new. Let's go try and see if it works. All right, so the next hack is like a classic hack I've seen a couple of times where you take a sandwich bag and then a butter knife and you heat it up with a lighter and cut the sandwich bag in half to turn it into a smaller bag, like snack size bag. All right, for this next one, we're going to be taking a pair of scissors or a knife that you need to sharpen and then using the bottom of a mug to sharpen your scissors or knife. Let's see if it works. All right, for this next one, we're going to be taking a AAA battery, something that needs a battery, like a clock that I just happen to have and not be using. Some tin foil. This clock needs a AA battery, but for the hack, you're supposed to take a smaller battery, so I'm taking a AAA battery, and you're going to use the tin foil to take up the extra space, I guess, that the normal size battery that you would need. Take up the extra space in there and it's supposed to still make it work even though it's not the right size battery. Let's see if this actually works. All right, so I'm putting the AAA battery in first. And then we're gonna take a little piece of tin foil I have ripped off right here. Just gonna crumple it up. And then you're supposed to put it in the back see if the clock works. All right, so I actually had to take a bigger piece of tin foil because my piece was too small and it actually works, guys. I'm surprised, this one actually works. Not sure if you can hear the sound of it working, but this one actually works. <laughs> so it gets a thumbs up. All right, this next hack is pretty cool, I think. So you're gonna need a hair dryer. Something with stickers, or labels that, you know how those annoying little stickers, you try to take them off and they don't come off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hair dryer and then put it over the sticker or label, warm up the adhesive and the glue or whatever and peel right off. So I hope this one actually works. Let's find out.
Alright, this hack is for storing your bed sheets. You're supposed to take a pillowcase and turn it inside out. Then place your sheets on the end of the pillowcase and just fold it over. Then you're supposed to take the opening of the pillowcase and just fold it over somehow. But for some reason, this hack did not work for me. I watched the hack over and over again, retried it a bunch of times, and it just didn't work. I don't know why, but this hack was a fail. This next hack is to keep your makeup shatterproof for traveling. You take a couple of cotton rounds and place those inside of your makeup palettes. And here I did the drop test to see if it works. And look at that, it actually worked. Shatterproof makeup hack. This next hack is a hairbrush cleaning hack, and this one seems pretty useful, so I'm hoping it's gonna work, but it seems like it will. It's pretty simple, so let's go give it a try. This next one is the bracelet hack. Very simple, you just take a paper clip and open it up. Then you hook the bracelet on the end of the paper clip. Then you just hold the paper clip in your hand while you wrap the bracelet around your wrist and then use that to hook it on easy peasy. These next two hacks kind of go together. This one is for folding your jeans, where you just fold the leg straight up, fold again, and then just fold in half. Pretty simple. This one is for hanging your jeans, if you rather hang your jeans on a hanger. All you do is just fold your jeans in half and then stick the hanger through the two loops on the end. And then bring the legs of the jeans up and hang over the hanger. That's it. Now for our last hack, I personally use this hack a lot. It's a no heat hair curling hack. I love this hack. I do this almost every night when I feel like curling my hair. I do this hack. I know for a fact this one works since I use it all the time. So if you don't already know this hack, you love curling your hair but hate how curling your hair with a curling iron takes forever, especially if you have really long hair like me. This hack will be really helpful for you.
it while well, we tried some Pinterest hacks. Some were definitely helpful and actually worked, and others, not so much. I recommend trying out the ones that did actually work, especially if they're ones that are going to be helpful in your life. Definitely recommend trying out a couple of these hacks. And I have a lot more hacks I have collected on Pinterest, so I'm definitely going to be doing a part two of this video at some point. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. I really hope I'm improving with making videos the more I make, so if you enjoy my videos and would like to see more of me and more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to get to know me a little bit better, I have a video called Get to Know Me where I talk about things that would help you to get to know me a little better. So check that video out if you would like to get to know me a little better. And as always, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!